Hello everyone, my name is Martin Linksfeld and I am Master Chef in FoggyKitchen.com. In this short video, I will show you how to collect values for TFR's environment variables. These variables will be necessary to make your Terraform capable to authorize and interact with OCI REST API. Ok, let me show it step by step in my OCI console and Terraform server. One thing more. If you are new to this channel, I will really encourage you to subscribe it. I hope you will find it useful for your current and future work. Ok, now I am on my Terraform server and I will set up my uh, set up OCI TFVARS file and I need to obtain the values of all of the variables, TF variables. So let's start with the user. I need to go here into identity users then I need to find the proper user and copy the OCID from here right and this value will be injected here next I need to pick up tenancy right so I need to go again to Hamburg Germany right I need to go to administration and then to tenancy details and as you can see here I have OCID of my tenancy so I'm copying that and again I will copy that stuff here okay now the question of the compartment in many cases we will have access to root compartment but uh, sometimes we have not uh, we have no access to root compartment um, so as you can see here in compartment explorer we can uh, have access here or below into particular sub compartment so in my case i will pick up this one right so uh, top level compartment and i will copy that ocid to my terraform uh, terraform file what is very important uh, it means the next compartment or any in my in my terraform course will be created inside this particular compartment okay fingerprints in case of the fingerprints we need to go to uh, the user again I need to go to my user and here we have API keys right so we need to uh, we need to uh, uh, create a fingerprint and for that purpose we will use uh, this documentation so let me go back to my terminal and let me I will save uh, so far achievements and now I will go here I will copy this command okay and then I will generate uh, the key but I will generate it without uh, passphrase right so just to make it simpler right and that means right uh, we have okay we need to also change this one okay and we need to also create public key okay okay writing okay that's okay and now this is my PAM key right so I will take this one I will return back here and I will add it as a public key right which means I will have brand new uh, key which can a brand new fingerprint which can be copied here right okay let's go back and now we will go again to our terraform file uh, okay I will copy that stuff here and now I need to also add the path uh, to my private key which has been generated right so let me save it and I will go here and we have here our private path so uh, 
we are in an OCI dot OCI directory. So this buff should be injected into my Terraform file. I need to go upstairs and add this buff here. Okay. Okay. Now the question of region. I'm in Frankfurt, so it will be EU Frankfurt 1. For lesson 9 and 10, we need two uh, different regions for cross region configuration. So, first it will be Frankfurt, and uh, second one it will be Amsterdam. Okay, and now we need to create a keeper for our for our uh, VMs, right? So let me create VM and TF keys. Yes, and now we can use that stuff from here, right? Okay, so we have public and private key. So let me copy this one. Uh, okay, and now I will copy the private key here. And uh, the public one, right? Looks like ready. So now we can set up source. We can go then to our first lesson. Okay. And we can type Terraform. Of course, we need to also add uh, our Terraform binary directory to the path uh, so it will be home OPC and now we should expect that Terraform will, will run without any problem okay and that's it thank you and uh, see you soon